Sex? Okay, in three, two, one, go. In true BSD fashion. We are off. So here I want to jump because jumping on slides is really fast, but I don't want to bonk into the walls because that kills all of my momentum. All right. So what just happens? There are no cutscenes. Yep. There's still Murphy though. <laughs> There is also a cheat to, to disable Murphy, but for some reason we don't use that. I mean, he's not that awful in comparison. I guess. Oh, oh nice. man. I mean, he can be. But... That was a weird cam. Yeah. If you land a bit uh, to the right of where the cutscene starts, then you usually don't get that cam. Uh, we do want to mention that this is the PC version, the only version where no movie starts, or the only version that has keyboard support, I should say. Yep. So, normally uh, you have to avoid these glow boxes. What are you doing, baby? Skip. I don't care, guys. <laughs> Actually, he just did a, did a cutscene skip, We're even though doing a cutscene skip. there's no cutscene <laughs> to watch anymore. Wow, you're wasting time by... I'm, this is like wasting half a second or so. It's not even that bad. <laughs> I just wanted to show off that trick. So the first level is actually the same as any percent. Um, but there's an additional requirement um, besides just finishing uh, Jano. Alright, skipping another cutscene? Oh yeah. Also the 200 lum requirement for um, for this category. So you need to collect 200 of those yellow flying things. Alright, <laughs> let's, let's see if I can get this. What Andre is trying to do right now, or Captain Awesome, I think I just found his name. He's trying to uh, stand on a spot where, yeah, how do how do you say it? He's trying to air swim, um, basically. Yep, you can swim in the air if you land in the correct spot, but it's pretty precise, and also a little bit like uh, RNG. Uh, it feels it RNG. It feels random. Yeah. Is it is it like? Uh, Spyro, we're trying to go into a swimming state. Um, Instead yeah. of there being like an area where you can swim. There's a, yeah, there's a plane, like a trigger, like a, a flat trigger. And once you hit the trigger, you just swim until you jump out. So that's, that what, that's what makes it possible to air swim in this game. No volumes of water. It's giving me quite the hard time right now. It is a hard trick. Yep. And usually yep. it's not taken that yeah. long. This is either a marathon curse or looks like it. The it curse does. of no movies. There, there we go. go. All right. Oh. So we are swimming under the sun. This trick is actually originally called sun skip. <laughs> Very long time ago, we called yeah. it sun skip. And that skips the entirety of that section. Oh, we got a fuzzy sub in chat. Oh, nice. Post that fuzzy W, guys, <laughs> if you have. I have one better. Oh, the combo emote, even. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. So once again, jumping while sliding is fast. I think our caster just ordered a pizza or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our tech guy. Our tech guy just ordered a panini. Oh, nice. I could go for one too after the run, though. If you beat your estimate, you'll get one. <laughs> Is that a good incentive? <laughs> sounds sounds good. I'll try. Or that cutscene can also be skipped. Not all. Yeah, it's two of them. Oh man. Wow. The other one for me? I don't know. You, you want it? Oops. Oh, that was a bit slow. It'll be cold once the run is over. Yeah, I'll I'll get one later. We can get some um, Dutch uh, food because we are in the Netherlands after all. Yeah, this is the first on-site uh, meetup of a 
bigger so one is the Raymond Marathon. The Raymond Discord. Yeah. Want to explain why I'm jumping here? Yeah, so he's jumping here uh, because jumping is fast. <laughs> yeah, it's and fast. Yeah. also, um, if you get hit by the barrels, you can just jump out of the, the stun. And also shoot, because then yeah. the timer gets reset. All right. No Murphy skip, unfortunately. Sadly not. <coughs> oh, this guy. We'll just skip that guy uh, as well. Oh, th what is the camera doing? Hello? Did you? Nice. So we're killing this guy. That was a weird cam. And we jump off here. If you're really good, you can actually skip killing the guy, but it's like very hard. No? Right. Good laser lock. Uh, on 60 FPS, um, skipping that guy is really hard, so yeah, we don't do that. On 30 FPS, it's really doable. Because that mechanism is way slower. Some things in the game are bound to frame rate and some aren't, which is kind of odd. I think these cycles are also affected by uh, your frame rate, yeah. uh, laser cycles. I import the machine. Uh, I hope I get a good cycle here. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should I play it safe, guys, or not? You should. But should no. I? Go ham. Whenever you throw the barrel in the air, you can walk a little bit to be in the Got him. range nice. of actually getting it. I hate. I kind of hate it. It's a bit scary every time. Uh, I think I'll do some safer gameplay on that one. Yeah. All right. So the last patch of this machine, you have to destroy three patches. The last patch, uh, you can actually throw the bomb at the patch um, while the bomb is still following you because it will uh, prioritize the patch over the bomb by throwing the barrel like See? that. The yeah. bomb was destroyed and the patch was targeted instead. Whoops, I skipped oh. that a bit too early actually. <laughs> yeah. There's something else skipping. Yeah, I here actually, origin like you don't want to skip it as early as possible. Because now you have to walk back, but it's no biggie. Mm, okay. Oops. Can you grab it? Thank you. So now we have gained the power to grab purple lums. And the funny thing is, the purple lum isn't there before you beat the boss. But even if it were there, you couldn't actually grab it. It actually gives you the power. The tornado room is next. I wish we could skip the tornado room. On the Dreamcast version, Robin, uh, you can skip it, right? You can. There's actually a very slight difference in the geometry of the level. So there's a pipe close to a wall, uh, which allows you to glitch in between the pipe and the wall. And you can flip right through and fly to the end. It stays about a minute, or maybe a little bit more. And even but better, on the PlayStation, it doesn't even exist. But the PlayStation version is way different. Yeah, it's... Uh uh, how should I call it? Something else. It's something else, guys. Oh, it's like 80% uh, of the game. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you just get a Murphy? Yes. Oh, no. Wow, guys. <laughs> Not cool. Well, that's what you get for getting a Murphy. Yeah, fair. <laughs> Oh, just throwing the fedora away. Lady. <laughs> Lady. This is kind of like a boring part. Yep. Let's try and grab all the lumps on the way. S you can skip one or two of these tornadoes. But the rest is pretty sa straightforward, I'd say. Oh yeah, the PlayStation version we were talking about, there's actually a PS1 and a PS2 version of this game. And the PS1 version is um, um, like lower quality and there's scrap levels and, and such. Um, the PS2 version actually has extra levels and an overworld instead of uh, just a level selection. Uh, 
uh, it's generally considered to be one of the best versions. Oh, nice. Super Look at that. Whoa, we. That was a super long nice. grapple. Yeah. So you can get an extra lum there by doing a long grapple there. So you have to kind of time it and move a bit back. And you can grab the, the lum out of the other uh, tornado. I don't want to call uh, PS2 the best version, but more the most complete it's version. It's more advanced than the other versions, but it has some um, some downsides. Oh, this is this level is the bane of my existence, by the way. <laughs> I might die a couple of times here. A I'm couple of times. Yes, dude. All right, At I get get this. He got that. That's like a little skip. You don't have to. Uh, get the lily pads there. You can just straight up jump to to the climbable uh, net. Don't now worry. look at this net that I just found. Yep. I don't think that first piranha actually has collision, does it? Uh, it actually does, but it's really hard to. I don't get. think I've ever hit him. It, I, it I can happen. Him. I have hit him. So it's really important to get all the lumps here because this, this is basically an all the scroller and lumps here don't cost any time to get. So you, you get all of them. You do want to get all the lumps on the first go. There we I go. You have to do one less cycle. Uh, oh, he's no. got them all. That's not true. Never mind. All right. This is, this is the hard part of the level. I hope I can nail this. Oh, wow. Walking. So there's a chance that you'll just lose uh, your um, grapple there. And you have to uh, right. re-grapple to Sam. It doesn't always happen. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Oh. That's nice. I'm always so scared about that. Oh, no. What? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> it had to happen at some point, guys. Now you can at least retry those lumps you missed before. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's true. Making it safe. There we go. Alright. Alright. Now these guys can ruin your day. Yep. But staying to the right <laughs> will mo mostly get rid of them. Yeah. Okay, one death. It, I take it. Sometimes I die like three, four times here. So it wasn't even that bad for my standard. <laughs> All right, Bayou is next. And that level has a lovely soundtrack. Really chill vibes and all, right? Yep. You like that soundtrack too. Reminds me of Breaking Bad, kind of. Does it? Well, yeah, like the, with the kind of uh, bassy sounds. Going for the, for the yeah, quick I strat. I've, I developed like a nice damage boost strat for this part, but it's not worth it in a marathon, I'd say, right? So I uh, shot the wall to my uh, left side there, so the shots would bounce off and hit the switch. Because that switch has, I think, no auto targeting, which is kind of annoying. Is that correct, Robin? Or yep. Well, if you get really close, then then it has. But it's, like but it's awful. It is pretty bad. In general targeting in this game uh, is kind of iffy. The worst case is I think uh, the switch in our map. There's one. There's like two switches that you have to hit, and one of them has a good auto targeting, and one of them is pretty awful. Oh, 
Adam. Don't get hit, guys. Ah, oh, yeah, these are men, but I didn't want it. Alright, targeting the cage early. Easier that way. Yeah, otherwise, you have to turn around here and then shoot them. But we can hit them early, so. Yeah. I believe they bounce into it as well. Yeah. Cool. Just gonna it's obliterate it's that guy real quick. up we're gonna have a little fight with one of the pirates here and we want to stand on this uh, fence like thingy because that skips a little text uh, and an animation yep there's actually a skip to uh, avoid fighting the pirate there and fight uh, um, fly into the green lump but it's uh, very RNG heavy because it relies on the Pirates shots, which are random. Okay, I was a bit scared. All right, we're gonna skip the switch and that one lump. I don't want to mess with that guy. <laughs> Skipping a lump is pretty important in levels, by the way. Yeah. If you get all 50 lumps, you're going to a bonus game, and obviously that loses some time. Also, uh, Captain just held the straight button to make sure the camera lines up correctly in the corridor. There's a weird uh, thing where the camera turns around and you get really uh, disoriented in that area if you don't hold straight. Oh, I'm not getting it. Sucks. Yeah, alright. But this cage has to be on screen to be hit, but it's very hard to manipulate the camera to make sure that it's on screen, unless you get really close, which is slow. Yeah, you s saw me the uh, hover and unhover there, so I don't uh, go as high from the bounces of these pads there. Just a little optimization. This is a big skip coming up, so I hope I can get it. First, we bait out that guy. Grab that ledge. Whoops. Oh. We collect a bunch of lumps here because we're skipping most of the rest of the level. bounce when coming up. Or Frozen. Frozen is the master of the swimming clips, I think. There we go. Alright, nice. Ooh, I'm a bit scared. You're good. Where am I going? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Alright, this is... Yeah, we gotta skip these two. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> I had to skip these so two, close. sadly. Close. When swimming out of bounds, you still have your air meter. And if you die, you have to redo the clip, which can take a lot of time. Oh, okay. Oh, a lot missed. Another one, man. This is not low percent, then, right? <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, any percentage. Of and another. Wow, percentage. I'm missing so many lumps here. <laughs> you don't need them. Then that never happened before. <laughs> oh man, the first in the marathon. Yeah, I'll get some backups. It's always the walk of life. <laughs> I don't think we have time for that, Robin. Gotta beat your estimate, otherwise you won't get any paninis. That was a boss, by the way. Yeah, that's um, a boss fight, just swinging you, you, you might have blinked and missed it. But that guy is pretty free. You can even skip the boss fight. So yep. It doesn't save too much time, though, and it's a little risky and hard. Yeah, I delayed um, the last um, purple lump a bit so I could get a better te tether, so I don't have to hover the last bit. Denied the bonus level. Oops. So normally we would have watched like I think five minutes of cutscenes already or more. Getting some lumps here. So we trigger the shell back there and then we unload it by jumping into this uh, hidden path here. And when we climb up, um, he will already be asleep. So you can just run there and hop on the shell and we should be fine. And we skip the Murphy cutscene, but we have to skip this twice. Alright, I'm also getting these to make up for uh, ones that I missed. Don't need to skip it twice for uh, pressure percent, right? Uh, we do have to skip him twice. Um, oh. uh, yeah. No, 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 we, no, don't. no <laughs> we don't. <laughs> and that was like a one second uh, animation skip there, jumping a bit earlier. I really, I really want to do the thing, by the way. Do the thing. Wall ride? Yeah. But do you, do you have but enough lumps? Unfortunately, I have to do this. Do you need any more lumps from this point forward? Uh, you need 200, so yeah, you need 30 more. Oh, okay. If I, I mean, if I die here, just by accident, I mean, it might happen, right? And <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I, wall, right? I just slip. I mean, I could. Oh no! Oh damn! That happened. Oh, uh, what a next. bummer! Oh, no. How did that happen? I don't know. Maybe someone is really eager to show off this wall, right? <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> oh man, he just threw up the ball and then he finished the level. What just happened? Weird, right? Yep. So, um, the, the cutscene trigger in that level is just when you're out of bounds. Did you just do the, the fast thing? Yeah, I did a fast overworld shred. Nice. So the overworld even has some skips, even though it's a linear path, almost. Uh, and I returned back to the Marshes of Awakening, since there's a second level in here. Nah, branching path. So how's the, how's the lump count? I need 20 more. I should get those here. Should be easy. Well, I say that. For a speedrunner. Might be problematic. How is the time, by the way? 24. Ooh, that's... Uh, I hope I'm underestimate. Should be good. This level has one very big skip, which is um, tedious, but like, yeah, uh, it's not too hard. It just can be, uh, it can take a very long time if the game doesn't uh, want to clip you. Hey, hey, hey. 
Once again, spamming jump on those climbing surfaces uh, is quicker than just climbing. What a meaning. Oh, here's the big skip coming up. Warp skip. Uh, instead of doing the puzzle with the ball and the triangle, Andre is performing a specific wrap in the corner. Basically the wrong wrap. The wrong wrap. Pushing him out of bounds? Yep. Let's see if I can get it. Allowing him to fly to the end of the level. Which saves a bunch of time, like three minutes, I think. Does this make it? No. Probably not, yeah. So, you could see what I'm going for. Oh, yep. that should make this it. Sh this should make it, yep. All right. That's actually pretty fast. Not too bad. Pretty good, actually. Yeah. So, he flies to the end of the level, collects the five lumps in the corner. Now he just needs five more lumps. Should be ten on the glide, so should be safe. He were being shit. Yeah, that's the question. Uh, what does the timer say? 27. And I have over 200. You could go for it. I tried once. All right. All right. Tried three times. All right. All right, Jano skip. Really fun. Skip involves these skulls. And when you hang on to the skull, the exact frame that it disappears, the game will warp you up, allowing you to fly to the end of the boss fight. But it is a frame perfect perfect trick. Oh no, oh god. I'm gonna do the normal fight. Some runners, like Darnock, they they practice this so much that they can get it consistently, like in the runs. What are you doing? I yeah, know. Um, oh god! <laughs> wow. Well, well, um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> the pressure. You're not used to doing the normal Jano fight, I guess. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> yeah, that looked really scary. He didn't get the ledge. So I skipped the green lump there. That's an older strat, but it saves a bit. Great me, Mercer back. 
Oh boy. And Nonny's getting in trouble again. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> People in the back want their money back because I'm not doing Geno Skip. <laughs> what a bummer. We can't have it all, guys. It's the sole reason we came over here to watch you do Geno Skip. I agree with them. save your friend, but instead to help yourself get some uh, gold, get the treasure. Can I make this? Oh, uh, no. Don't risk it. I could have made it, I'm pretty sure. So it's yeah, I yeah. probably could have made it, but it's marathon, right? And I'm a scary... Uh, gonna scary How are you on time? Yeah, way over it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh man. Right. Oh well. Happened. Oh, you, you could skip the cutscene. Uh, nah, we don't skip the cutscene. Nah, we gotta watch the pile of gold that Raymond, the fat Raymond. Unbelievable. Gets his hands it's on. gold. Really? Oh really? Oh, did he change the estimates? <laughs> oh man, he changed the estimate. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What did they change it to? These are some new marathon straps. Uh, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Jano offers you a choice. His treasure. <laughs> or a oh, life-saving potion. Oh, we're going to take the gold. We're going for gold, guys. I want the treasure. Heck yeah. Time. That time. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well done. Yeah, oh, it should be. Yeah. So uh, this is the end of the game, guys. Um, that's it. That's the true ending. Raymond 2, the great escape. The great escape to Gold Island. Yeah. yeah so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for the co-commentary, Rikold and Robin. Uh, very much welcome. It was fun with you guys. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned for the next run.